Alright, well, while building another uh, left-handed, single-handed controller for the Xbox, I decided to experiment with um, some uh, kind of uh, optical interrupts to uh, run the switches. Now, in all the Xbox 360 controllers, at least the wireless ones, for about the last two years are quite simple, unlike the old ones. There is a, a lead going to each button, like the A, B, C, D, whatever. Lead going to each button, and then when you push the button, it goes to ground. So each button is um, high, and then when you, or, you know, 3.3 volts, then when you push the button, it goes low, zero volts. So I thought, you know, could we replicate this with an uh, interrupt switch? And when we were at Games for Health, uh, my ex arch nemesis, Mark Barley, one of his friends, was there with uh, muscular dystrophy, and he talked about an isolator. So what I did, because basically instead of having to push a button, you just move your finger. So it requires very little force. So what I did was I wired this up to the A button, and we have positive voltage coming in on this wire, 3.3 volts, which we get from the extension plug where the chat pad goes. And unfortunately on the newest controllers, that's always powered up, so that LED will be on even if the controller isn't, but whatever, we can put a switch on it or something. Anyway, the dark one here, that is the emitter, and that basically emits infrared. And the clear one is the detector, and it's just a, uh, you know, a detector. So what happens here is um, we light that up, no big deal, and then we have ground over here. So then we have, you know, VCC going to the detector and then going through it. So what happens in this standard configuration is that you've got 3.3 volts going through the detector just fine because when the detector sees infrared light, it allows electricity through. So as long as that light's hitting the detector, 3.3 volts goes back to the button and we're fine. Now if it's interrupted, you don't get the 3.3 volts and so what this sensor wire going to A detects is ground, which is right over here, and we have the resistors, you know, so it doesn't completely short out. Pretty much like a normal switch. So, what you can do is you can just interrupt it, and, you know, if you can see in the background, the, uh, boop. So, yeah, um, hopefully, maybe I can try to do a controller that basically just works with finger movement. That way, if someone didn't have very much strength in their hand, they could, you know, at least play some simple games just by moving their finger back and forth, like left, right, A, B, so yeah, we'll see. But yeah, that's uh, uh, opto sensor hooked up to an Xbox 360 controller. Whee!